one of the more radical ideas that's been discussed in, in, in movies is the idea of uploading your mind to some form of medium, uh, computer, et cetera. And in your work, you have described the act of uplo uploading your mind would be a destructive act in that if you were able to do that truly, if you were able to upload your consciousness to a computer, um, then you would cease to exist. Why is that? Okay, yeah. Um, so some people think that you would be like Johnny Depp in the film Transcendence. Right. Where, you know, you could find out that you're going to die and you could plan to upload and then continue surviving, right? And you would no longer be a carbon-based biological creature. You would now be a silicon-based creature and you could even say, in principle, merge with the internet, right? The way that Johnny Depp did. Okay, so I think we need to think very carefully about these scenarios. Um, I don't see a good reason to believe that we would survive uh, if we tried to upload. I mean, think about it like this. Um, when your brain is scanned, right, it's destroyed. And the information is sent to a computer and it could be that your mind is reconstructed even miles away and that it's downloaded, right? Ordinary physical objects don't move that way, right? I can't, you know, move a coffee cup by uploading it and download it somewhere else. It's a different cup. It's not the same cup, right? Ordinary objects trace a continuous trajectory through space-time. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't just drop out of the space-time continuum and then go somewhere else. And ordinary objects don't move by having their information copied somewhere else. Now, some people say, no, the mind is like software. You can upload and download it at will. I think that's what a lot of transhumanists believe, okay? But I disagree with that. Um, I think that software is an abstract object. It's like a mathematical equation. So if my mind was like software, it would be abstract, like a mathematical thing. Um, and abstract entities are, by definition, outside of space-time. They're not concrete spatio-temporal things. That's just the definition of you know, what an abstract entity is in a field called philosophy of mathematics. So I think people who think the mind is a program are making a category mistake. Um, you know, the mind can be described algorithmically. That's an interesting upshot of cognitive science. Um, but that doesn't mean that we are a software program. So it doesn't mean that we can upload and download wherever we want. We have to be more careful about a decision to download or upload. It may end, you know, our conscious existence. Now, it may create a new creature somewhere else, um, but that creature would not be me. I agree. And that also poses the question that if you were able to upload, and you discuss this in your work, now, if what we've uploaded, is this merely a copy or is this a genuine conscient, conscious entity, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, I can only tell you that it's a huge philosophical problem and we'll probably never be able to definitively rule out the possibility that an artificial creature, that is something that, let me be careful here, what I mean is something that is made of silicon rather than carbon, okay? We'll never know for sure that that creature is conscious. It will behave as if it's conscious, if it's a copy of us. But we'll never really be able to get into its head and know what its experiences are like. But we can kind of say that it's more likely than not that that creature is conscious for a variety of reasons that have to do with the fact that our own brain is computational and there's no in principle reason that silicon-based system can't think intelligently. 
um, you know, our computers are already doing amazing things and supercomputers like IBM's Watson, you know, have these great natural language processing abilities. So I think in the future, there will be genuine domain general artificial intelligence and it's probable, it's more likely than not that when we get to a level of intelligence being super intelligent AI that it will be conscious. But we'll never know for sure because we can't step inside of somebody else's head and tell that that creature's conscious. 